what is going on guys, it's Wolfie here and welcome back to my Leverkusen save, this is episode 4 and we have pushed on in the Bundesliga and in the Champions League and today's live com is the last game of 2014 against Stuttgart before we go on our winter break and also before we, I get some transfer business done if however the transfer window bargain thingy that I've done should open, I don't know but in terms of competitions you'll see that we are sitting third and the title race has heated up quite a bit. Frankfurt have dropped a, f dropped a few points. Um, so that's left them down in fourth. But I'd say fourth and fifth are quite comfortable. Um, and then you've got Wolfsburg down there on 28 points on sixth. So these two will probably fire out for fourth for, for a few games, I'd say. Unless Wolfsburg can pick up a few um, players or whatever in January. Uh, but the title race is definitely between us three, between Bayern, Dortmund and Leverkusen. And last time you saw us... Dortmund were freaking down there, like, Brian, sorry, were down there, like, literally 9, 10th or 11th, I can't remember, and then Pep just completely turned them around and pushed them up to first, um, taking over the likes of Dortmund and Frankfurt, who were fighting over first at the start of the season, so it's been a very interesting season, we have held first position um, not long ago, actually, we were first, uh, which was quite nice, my TV's a bit loud, so I'm going to turn that down, um, and yeah, so it's been quite uh, interesting. It's been a fun season, actually, to say the least. Uh, news is that we've qualified for the knockout stages in the Champions League. And as you can see, we have got Olympiacos in our first round leg in the uh, Champions League, which is quite nice. We've also made it to the third round in the German Cup and we are facing Augsburg at home. So um, we're still in all competitions, which is good. Our recent form is just wins. We've just been winning. Uh, if you take a look at the schedule, I'll actually do the uh, Champions League first, um, so you guys can see what's been happening. Um, so, pff, fail. So, yeah, um, you can see that our results have been quite iffy, so um, that was the last game you saw me. Then went to be Andelec at away 2-0. I think I already said that, but... Um, we beat CSK Mos We lost against CSK Moscow 4-1. Horrible game. Just complete... I, I generally didn't really care because at this point... <clears throat> Beating Anderlecht meant that we already qualified, so at this point, I just didn't really give two flying cares about the last two games. Bad, I know, but that's the way I am. I just didn't really see the point in wasting the squad's energy, so I literally put out, like, the, the worst team ever to save fitness reasons for the league so we can push on in our league campaign. Um, but we lost 4-1 against uh, CSK Moscow. Word Bloom scored, uh, Strandberg scored, Tosic scored, and Milanov scored as well. Um, then we drew 1-1 in our last Champions League group stage game against uh, Benfica. And we uh, Iago Aspas was the only goal scorer for us in that game as well. Um, now, going to the league. Uh, we'll get rid of this and we'll go into the first division. Uh, since the game against Köln, we beat Dortmund 4-0 at home. A wash lead, a Barami, Bellarabi, sorry, and Seong Hoon Min, who has recently announced that he wants to stay at Leverkusen, which is good news for us. So he no longer wants to join Arsenal. Having asked, uh, it was because actually Arsenal have sacked Arsene Wenger, so um, and they're fifteenth in the table. So I don't think he's going to go from third to fifteenth. Just doesn't work like that. But anyway, um, so yeah, that was that. Then we went away to um, Allianz Arena, and we lost 3-2 expected but you know I thought because of Bayern's form at the time we would we would pull you know the rabbit out of the hat but it just wasn't meant to be Kiesling and Otzenali scored for us Alonso and Lewandowski scored two goals for Bayern Munich we were then at home against our rivals oh, oh yeah so we lost another rival game but we then picked up one game against our rivals which was Mun and Gadbach we won 1-0 uh, Chana Logie with a penalty in that game uh, then we beat Werder Bremen away 2-0 Galvez the only scorer for Werder Bremen uh, Leverkusen, we scored two goals with Song Kyung Min. We then had our biggest win of the season, 5-0 against Freiburg. Freiburg were absolutely all over the place defensively. And uh, China Longhu and Bellarami just completely raped their team. Bellarami picking up man of the match in that game. Uh, he scored in the third minute. Julian Brand scored. Bentner scored. Kiesling scored. And China Longhu scored as well, which was a penalty. Uh, we then beat Hamburg, who are bottom of the table. Beat them 1-0. China Longhu with a brilliant free kick again. And then we beat Hertha in our recent result, a game, um, a game which we were expected to win, and we did win, especially with um, Hosaga getting sent off. So Kiesling scored two goals and Julian Brannett scored two goals. One thing I'd like to mention in terms of transfers is that you may see a few deals happening, um, big deals actually. So we've got here, 
uh, Kiesling on your screen and you'll see that he is wanted by Bayern Munich, Juventus, Roma and Napoli, some very big European clubs. Now, however, if an Italian side steps up, ste steps up, wow, well, if an Italian side steps up and makes an offer for him, I will let him go under the £10 million region. However, if Bayern Munich tend to put in an offer, which they do look likely to, I will have to go over the £10 million mark if he's to leave. One, because they're our rivals. And two, because they're in Germany. And three, because Kiesling is a German player. So those are three factors as to why I need to make big money to sell him on to Bayern Munich. Um, another player who looks to be on his way out, although I've spoken to him and he said he'll stay for another season, um, is uh, Bentner, who is wanted by Louis van Gaal and also wanted by Manchester City as well. So... Um, both United, both Man City and Man United are probably going to battle out to try and get um, him to sign a contract with the club. I've set the asking price as thirty million, and I don't think they'll want to pay that much for Bentner. So I'm pretty confident of keeping him. But if they do put in a thirty million pound offer, then for me personally, that's money, especially with our financial issues. We ain't we ain't got financial issues, but we just don't have enough finances. So um, I would definitely sell him for thirty million pounds. Hell yeah. Definitely. So that is what we are working with now in terms of um, stuff. So today's game, as I said, is against um, Stuttgart. So let's get into it. So this is annoying. It's annoying because um, I've already... Hang on a minute. Okay. It's annoying because I've already done this recording. And in that recording, we actually lost 4-1 to Stuttgart. And then I got a crash dump. Uh, because basically, I was basically recording on a minimized um, window. Um, not minimised, but it wasn't. Oh, Kiesling from a header. And Bellarabi with the assist. That's his 150th goal career. Nah, that's what you want to see. Um, but yeah, so I got crash dumps file because I tried to maximise the screen. Um, and I was recording as well. And it just it probably couldn't handle it. And it just got crash dumps file. So that's why I have to redo it, which is quite annoying. I've already done it. Um, but yeah, I've, I've kind of... It's giving me a time to learn from my mistake, which is just, yeah, that. Stuttgart are so freaking counter-attacking. It's ridiculous. In that last game that I recorded, we were 1-0 up at half-time and we lost 4-1 by the time the game ended. Absolutely horrendous. So, they're just very good when it comes to counter-attacking football. And Kiesling could score here. Bellarabi. Wendell. Wendell! Yeah! Mm. That's what you want. First goal of the season, but puts us 2-1 up against Stuttgart, which moves us second on the table. Come on, lads. Let's do this. Let's remain focused. And let's go into the winter break second on the table, which gives us a chance to compete with first when we come back after January. That is what you want. Uh, Hibbert here, trying to log you on the ball. Whips in a pass. Keys. Oh, what play was that? Throw on, pass, crush. It was like throw on pass. What was it? Throw on pass, cross goal. Yeah, Keesling with two goals in this game. Um, looks like he could um, get that hat trick, which would be quite nice for him to end off what could be his last Leverkusen uh, performance. Um, hopefully, it's not. But you know, with the likes of Juventus and Bayern Munich teams, not not disrespecting us or not downgrading us, but teams that have more of a chance of winning a Champions League trophy than we do um, he's more likely to join them if they do put in an offer uh, I mean you never know we might defy the odds and make the final who knows nah <laughs> score's not good enough for that yet um, I, I already know the weaknesses and it's just the whole defense the whole back four is just terrible um, so it's something I need to work on now I was thinking about working on the attack but you know uh, with Song Hyun Ming saying that he wants to stay uh, I don't really need to Hopefully we can keep a hold of Bentner. So if we can keep a hold of Bentner, um, I'm fine with keeping the attack how it is. And Jedvaj, that's what I mean by our defence, is poor. Jedvaj completely missed that and Werner was through on goal there. Should have absolutely buried that and um, let us suffer from that. But fair, he missed, so I'm not really going to complain. But um, yeah, so if those guys stay, uh, the midfield and the, def and the attack can stay the same. I probably just need to work on the defence should we get finance. Um, for January and Timo Werner's injured so Stuttgart are going to have to make a substitution if we don't then the team's going to have to stay how it is because I, I don't have any plans on selling um, last bender
but however I do have a 30 million price tag on him so should Man United and Manchester City meet that then we can have a lot of fun in January in the window um, I'm telling you now that kind of sounded a bit wrong but anyway Keesling to Bellarabi shoot my son oh Keesling with the pass of Bellarabi finito that tables of turn I couldn't breathe when I just did that I'm gonna make a substitution fitness reasons channel long you needs to come off we'll put on iago aspas um who else uh jedvaj not really having a top game so we'll put on um top rack who's also wanted by freaking manchester united whole squad is just wanted in it might as well name this episode what now nah, i'm gonna yeah episode i don't know what i'm gonna name it um hilbert we're here whips in across to aspas he's just come on the pitch and almost assisted wendell's shot Keeper saved it, brand it, got the rebound, and it's 5-1 against Leverkusen in the 63rd minute. Safe to say game's over. I'm just going to relax on my sofa now because I can chill. Um, so, ah, oh, freaking hell. Julian Brandit's second goal of the game. <laughs> this is ridiculous. We are completely mopping the floor with Stuttgart. It's ridiculous right now. Uh, offside, apparently, something happened there. Um, I will put highlights on extended when I do get a new PC, but my laptop's completely failing on me now, which means that it's got to stay on key for the time being. And uh, you can see now we've got a penalty to make it seven. Kiesling has a chance to get his hat trick. Does he get his hat trick? He does. Keeper does not move. Kiesling, hat trick, maybe his last time playing for Leverkusen, I say that's a good way to go out, getting a hat trick for your club um, that you've had so many memories with and you've spent a lot of time with. So I think that's a brilliant way to go out. Um, so should he leave, you, you can't complain about that, can you? You just can't. Otsunali looks like there's time for another goal, if I'm honest. Could, oh, offside, apparently. Bellarabi was offside. Um, well, now that is the end of the game. Referee should blow the whistle and we are jubilant as we are going through to the, um, well, through to february um second on the table according to that so um that is pretty tough i'm pretty tough with that uh i'm just shocked at Bayern's just re re but re whatever you want to call it rebirth like they were 11th or 10th on the table and now they're first and a goal difference of 29 what demonic tactic is freaking what's his face pep using because that is ridiculous uh dortmund have dropped down uh, so this is the table before you go because we won't be back till after January um, in game time. That is, uh, Bayern are first with twenty nine with thirty nine points. Leverkusen are second with thirty nine points. Uh, Dortmund third with thirty seven points. Frankfurt fourth with thirty four points. Wolfsburg fifth with twenty eight points. And Werder Bremen have pushed up to sixth with twenty eight points. Um, Schalke and Köln um, having okay. Köln is having a brilliant season, but Schalke um, should be up there where Frankfurt is, but they're not having a good season. Same with Gladbach should be where Werder Bremen is, but not really having a good season. Uh, relegation zone, Mainz and Hertha, and Klopp is not doing too well with Hanover as they're sitting 16th on the table, so that is how it stands. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel for more content, and I will see you later. I'm going to go drink my purdies or pour it on my eyebrows. Goodbye.